Hello fellow gamers and zombie killers, it's this. After many of you asked me to provide a little bit more visual tutorial and guide stuff, uh, I finally decided to open up a channel for that. So fasten your seatbelts, now you get visuals. Let's dive right into today's part. We are talking about seven days to die and what we are talking about today is how to find your supply crates. As you know I don't like doing the complicated stuff and the backdoor stuff. I like to provide solutions for people who are not that technical or an actual modder. So this is actually what we are going to do today the non-technical approach or the easy approach. What you have to provide by yourself is the ability to find a certain folder and a certain file on your Windows system and you should be able to use a text editor. I'm going to make a recommendation and you will find a link in the description to the program I'm actually using. It's quite a common program by the way. It's free and you can download it on the internet. Um, but let's dive into the first section, finding the right file. So let's look at the Explorer on your Windows system. What you want to find is the 7 days to die installation. The standard installation, if you didn't do anything different than other, uh, most of the users, you will find it in your program files uh, directory on your standard um, hard drive. And then subdirectory Steam, Steam apps, common, seven days to die, data, and you want to dive into the config folder. So I mark the file here we're talking about today. It's called entityclasses.xml. For you non technical people, don't panic right now and shut down and leave. I'm going to provide an easy way. XML, just as a short explanation, is just a specific formatting inside a text file. You don't have to know anything about it for this. I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to do. Before you do anything else, you are going to make a copy of your file, please. Uh, you can do that by Control C, Control B, shortcuts on the keyboard, or by right-clicking on the file and making copy and uh, paste. That's before you're going to make this change, please. So you can see I already have a copy of this one, which is changed. Um, so this is uh, the original version, but we are doing exactly the same steps as you would do. So you would open this by double-clicking on it. And on most of your systems, you don't have a shortcut uh, related to XML files probably. So what happens on most of your systems is probably this file is going to open in your standard browser. You don't want that. So you want actually a right click on that particular file and choose the option open with and define a program. And you want to choose the editor. In my particular case here I'm going to open the file with an application that is called Notepad++. It's just a normal text editor. It's a free version you can download on the internet, but it's more powerful than a standard Notepad. Uh, many models actually use this as a standard text editor. The reason why we use this is it knows some of the particular formatings of different um, script languages, and also XML files. So it's providing with some nice coloring and sectioning and also line numbers. So what you want to do now is you want to find the lines 747 and 748 in this file. This is the original file. So we are talking about these two lines here. And you will see this part is not entered by me or by anyone else. It's part of the original file provided by the PIMS. And it also explains to you what happens in this particular line. It says, if set, this entity will show on the map. An entity is just something inside the game. So in this case, the supply crate would show on the map. 
It doesn't show right now because something is in front of the important command and this is what you are going to delete. These four things here, the left bracket, exclamation mark and two hyphens have to go away and you are doing the same with the last three, the two dashes and the right bracket. So the line should look exactly like this. That's what you want to do. When you did this, you save your file and that's all you have to do. So when the next update comes from the PIMS, this file will be overwritten with the standard version again and you're losing this ability probably again. But as far as I'm informed, the changes they are doing for A12 with the skies should also re-enable the visibility of supply crates. So this is just a temporary solution anyways. So let's look at the actual in-game effect of this. So let's head over to the game. I already uh, started up um, the, the game to save a little bit of loading time. Let's delete this and I just call it supply crate test. Since I'm usually not working with AdRobs, I have to change the option. I'm setting it on every date just to get it quickly now. So let's see. Okay, we are lucky we didn't end up in the middle of a zombie horde. Let's just pick up enough stuff to make an axe. Worst case scenario, um, can we kill you? I doubt it. Yes, we can. And we need a stone. You guys see a stone somewhere? I think this is the worst place to find stones. Not a good biome for it. Oh, there we go. Nope. Come on. I need, oh, there we go. Yes, I was right. So let's quickly build a stone axe. So since we basically have to wait some time until the pilot is actually arriving, um, we could just stand around and wait. But since this pilot is very unreliable, uh, I like to refer to Midnight Designer's definition of him, the drunk pilot. You've got to be kidding me. We are starting with a dog? No way. Go away. Go away. Can we kill a dog with a stone axe? Yes, we can. Well, that's the first. Uh, I hate these guys. Yeah, come on. So, that was a little bit premature to assume that there are no zombies around. So, we are, we are going to stay up here. We're not doing any, anything serious. Uh, I simply want to have the pilot coming in and to do that I'm doing a short trick here. Please don't uh, ask me about it. It's nothing you should actually do. Uh, I'm just pushing a little bit on time here because he's usually coming he's usually coming around uh, noon time so there we go. We should be dead by now. Let's restart this one quickly. Thank you. So we got our little axe. Oh, this looks better. Flat turning. A lot better. So let's hope the pilot uh, will show up in a minute. Don't expect me to do anything serious here. I'm just killing time. Come on, please, pilot.
Let's have a quick look around. That helps probably when the pilot actually arrives. Most of the time he arrives around noon to the best of my knowledge. So that's why I was playing around with that um, shifting time forward. I'm going to explain those functions in another video, but this is outside of the scope of this one. This is mostly meant for all you non-technical users to actually be able to find your supply crates again. And from my point of view, the solutions that have been offered so far require far too much knowledge about many of the inside structures of the system, how the coordinate, uh, coordinate system works, you have to find the console, you have to read through the lines and you have to find the right line. So I do believe that's not a good approach, especially since there is no pause button. So uh, usually you don't really have the time as um, a standard user to do something in the console. And there we go. So. You will see, I have the same problem as everyone else. I can't see the pilot. But, with the change we did now, we are actually able to find the crate. You see what happened up here? There's an entry all of a sudden on the map that is called SC General. This actually is our supply crate. So let's put a waypoint on that and head over there. So, you cannot really change any of your setup to see this. This is simply a, a glitch or a bug or whatever you want to call it right now um, that is related to some of the changes that have been made in one of the patches. So, um, as far as I'm informed, I'm repeating this part with the A12 release. Um, the pins are giving us nicer skies and changes in how the sky is working. Sunshine, sun movement, uh, moon uh, movement is going to be re-established. That should actually solve also the, the crate problem. But until then, hmm. it shouldn't be too far from what I saw on the map. Let's see. There we go, there's a crate. So you see, um, the crates are actually in game. And now it's easy to find them. Because the only thing you have to do is you have to find this particular entry on your map. So, I didn't take anything, but um, I can do that now. So that's all there is to it. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I hope that it has been as non-technical as possible and I would appreciate any comments and if you liked the video, if it had been helpful, I also appreciate a uh, press on the like button. And see you then and keep alive. Bye bye.